In this episode, we're going to kind of rapid fire, take a look at several new changes uh, and news items within Splinterlands in case you missed them to try to bring you up to date. And then after that, we are going to take a look at my account, uh, spend some glint in the glint shop and try to improve my deck. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey, all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe and pass this video around if you get any value out of it. Uh, also, please remember to follow me on X slash Twitter. Um, I will leave a link in the show comments if you uh, follow that social media. Appreciate it. Okay, with that said, there has been a literally bucket ton of changes that the team uh, from Splinterlands have been working on and have been going live lately. And I figured in this week's update, we would take a look at a few of those um, before we get into the part where I spend my weekly glint. As you can see up here, I have 342,000 glint to spend. Don't know if I'm going to spend it all, but uh, I do think that uh, we're going to jump in and buy some um, probably epics. I don't know. Uh, make up my mind when we get there. Uh, and also stay tuned and watch through the video because there may or may not, uh, spoiler alert, there will be a announcement later on in the video. Um, and if you catch it and take action, um, you uh, stand to win some rebellion packs. Ah, okay, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, the first thing I want to point out, first of all, um, we are on PC. I always usually my, do my videos on PC in the browser to show you this is the Splinterlands client. They updated the main page here with some uh, animation and changed things around uh, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, um, all in the effort to uh, improve it, obviously, but work towards making the mobile uh, experience better and ultimately making an experience that can translate into uh, a standalone app. Okay, I mentioned that because this week they went live with the updated version of uh, how battles play out. So, but uh, let's take a look at what the new battle type looks like uh, under, uh, you know, the, with the recent update. So let's go ahead and just replace this battle. You can see that the background here, everything's changed, you know, um, the background's changed. There's different animations. Um, all the buttons have moved to the top, the round uh, counters, the top, the battle, the skip battle button, uh, the uh, what uh, rules you're playing by, how many mana, uh, what splinters you can use have all moved to the top and generally got smaller. Um, and then everything else has moved down. So we will just go ahead and click that battle button and uh, you can also speed up as normal uh, up to four times. Yeah, four times. Um, and we can just watch this play out uh, with my team on the bottom. So it's looking pretty smooth. Uh, I can see that uh, I think for most part, everything's gotten smaller um, and everything appears to be working fine uh, within a standard browser. Uh, So this battle still taking quite a while, um, but it's a high mana battle or well, relatively high mana battle. So there's some big dogs out there. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to watch this through just to see the animations and everything. You can see that uh, in this case, I won 705 glint and 3.7 SPS. If you're new to the game, uh, these are the two tokens that you earn for playing Splinterlands. You can earn glint, which can, which we will be spending here in a little while after I get with the new, done with the news topics, um, uh, to buy cards and chests and things like that to improve your deck um, and the SPS that you earn if you have SPS staked in the game. Uh, you can earn SPS, which is the main token of the game, which you can turn around, buy, sell, trade, reinvest into the game. If you put it back into the game and do what we call staking, which is basically in putting it in your bank account, staking it in the game to where it's not touched 
touched, um, then you can earn a higher percentage from the game or uh, uh, your boost percentage is higher. So either way, um, let's go ahead. Um, now, let's jump over and check it out on mobile. Okay, uh, so here we are on my iPhone. It's not the newest version. Um, it's a year or two old, uh, but it's not a really old one. And you can see what we're looking at here. Um, everything has gotten smaller, but everything's kind of stacked in the vertical position. Uh, when you go into horizontal position, um, you see much less. So it takes a lot of scrolling in horizontal position. But let's go back to vertical. Um, and let's just take a look at the, um, that same battle that we just looked at on, um, on a regular browser on a PC. Let's take a look at that and look at what it, Check it out. <laughs> okay, so you can see everything is stacked. Let's go ahead and do the battle and speed it up as fast as possible. Um, they're fitting a lot into a mobile screen. So I'm hoping that whenever they transition to the standalone app that something gets done here. Um, I play a lot, uh, I play a few other card games that have standalone apps that handle this screen and the battle screen a little bit better. Um, but overall, everything's looking better than what it did. Um, so they've, it appears to me that they've moved things around on the screen, made things smaller. They moved the battle conditions up to the top. They uh, like shrunk and changed the font, it appears to me. Um, everything's working pretty smoothly. Um, I did note in chat that uh, there are a lot of reports uh, of, um, uh, of things not working smoothly for people. So We'll, we'll go ahead and jump out. If you happen to be one of those people that are having a problem with the mobile uh, play uh, after the recent update to the graphics and everything, uh, they are requesting that you submit a ticket with uh, basically the details. Uh, and you can find that on the support.splinterlands.com uh, website. And it gives you basically a lot of boxes to fill out that basically gives them um, as much information as possible to track it down, obviously, to try to make the game be better and improve it. And down at the bottom, you can attach some screenshots which always help um, as well as all the um, you know exactly what's happening in verbiage you know getting in getting on in chat in um, in uh, from a troubleshooting perspective uh, from my IT background just jumping on in chat in reddit and just complaining with like oh this is BS and whatever that doesn't really help um, so if you can log a ticket with the details and as, uh, as many details and some, some screenshots as possible that helps them track down the issues and make them better okay so the second thing I wanted to cover was what's available currently there's a lot of things going on right now so I f uh, figured I'd just kind of rapid fire throw them at you uh, first of all as we know the current rebellion uh, set uh, packs are set to either sell out or burn out uh, in the beginning of December sometimes so we have less than a month left uh, looking at uh, probably three weeks uh, that's just a guess so if you want any uh, uh, of the last rebellion packs you need to go ahead and get those uh, next up is the auction card Heloise the hollow and insanely powerful card that's been popular with the big dogs um, highly limited as well all these cards are at max level so you don't have to worry about multiple bcx however the side effect of this is the cost is high they have been going for um uh, around over a million uh dec current high bid on the current copy is 13 uh one million three hundred thousand credits so um that is 1300 us dollars crazy i've seen i've kept my eye on this um and a lot of them are going in that 850 to above a million D, uh, dec in this case azur khan really wants this copy so uh they're bidding uh 1300 us dollars on that so if you want to get on in on some of these highly limited auction cards uh go ahead and check that out uh the legends the new legends were announced uh uh, this w just came into the game this week, uh, yesterday with the patch. So the new legends are not for sale yet. Uh, a little bit less than two weeks uh, left, but you can start preparing if these look nice to you. Um, we have the Mariput Moss Bender, which is a dual splinter, uh, life and earth. And we also have another dual splinter, uh, Nefket, which is dual splinter, uh, life and water. So we will take a, a little bit closer look on this page. So 
Nefket is the legendary, and you can see the breakdown here from a 1BCX all, all the way to 11. 11 is a max copy, and you can see the abilities involved. Um, let's see here. Um, and the second one is the Mariput Mossbender, which is the rare selection, which you would need 115 copies to make a max level. But you can see the... Uh, the um, abilities involved there as well. Jumping back over here, you can see what basically a max level card looks like with all the abilities. Uh, echo, uh, active uh, abilities repair, and all healing and cleansing abilities trigger twice per round. Uh, cleanse removes all negative effects on the unit in the first position. Uh, dodge has a 25% higher chance of evading uh, melee or ranged attacks and repair restores a maximum of two armor so this looks like it would fit in well in a lot of situations and nefket uh, legendaries tend to be a little bit uh, very powerful obviously but a little bit more limited in the situations where they're going to fit in um, range and melee attack medium speed has sneak stun knockout divine shield and piercing looks like a very strong card overall as well and each bcx for these as usual uh, the rare is going for 3000 dec or 3000 credits per bcx or um, uh, for the legendary 50,000 dec or 50,000 credits so these cards are relatively expensive but they're strong so under the exclusive tab, the Mana Warden is still for sale. Uh, for 30 vouchers per copy uh, per BCX, you can get a Mana Warden. Uh, of course, since this is a common, it will take 400 combined BCX to make a max level, but you can still buy those, and they still have the deal going on that if you buy 25 cards at once, you get a guaranteed a gold foil card so i'm over here on splinter cards uh taking a look at sps and dec it's been quite a wild ride uh but sps and dec is overall uh up pretty good compared to last month uh due to a lot of combined factors uh, i think we've all been keeping our eye on sps sps for several days this week has been above a penny uh each uh, which seems to be the mark where uh, profit takers are kicking in, bots and such are buying and selling. Uh, that seems to be the market, uh, the mark. Um, uh, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but it seems to, it'll hit a penny, a little bit above a penny, and then you'll see some sell-offs. So uh, that is interesting because, uh, yeah, SPS is up a good deal from what it was last month, and that's what we want, right? I know I hit you with several different things really fast there. Uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way and bring you up to speed uh, in, in case you hadn't heard some of that stuff. Uh, now, let's go back in and check out, uh, buy some some things with glint, you know. So I have uh, almost 350,000 glint to spend. Um, uh, as you know, if you've been following this, uh, this series of videos, uh, I've been concentrating on maxing out my epics. Um, I always like to spend glint on uh, merits as well. So let's start out there. Um, and buy the first level of merits. And we'll be able to buy some Gladius cases, which uh, if you're new to the game, is one of the valuable things, uh, the reasons to get into a guild. Um, you can start accumulating Gladius cards, which are very strong. And uh, let's go ahead and buy the second level of merits. As you buy uh, different levels, uh, like each one of these is uh, 10, um, then the, the cost does go up. But I think the value in the merits is there for, you know, if you've got it to spend at least three, three batches. Okay. Let's go to the guild shop. I can see I have nine, a little bit over 9,000 going there. So I can get uh, three packs. No. Uh, four packs, four packs. They're 2,000 a piece. And then we will spend the rest as I usually do in bloodstones. Bloodstones act like potions. Um, give you a higher chance to get legendary cards when you open the gladius packs. Okay, so it looks like I can get 27 bloodstones. I don't have enough merits to complete this purchase. Okay, I guess 26 then. Thought my math was right. Okay, so I did that. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and open these up while we're here. Let's go to the open section. You can see that I have a total of 14 gladius cases to open. 
let's just go ahead and open them all and they will use those bloodstones that I bought uh, hopefully get me a legendary it's been a while since I got a legendary gladius card but let's just open them all see what I get epic two epics three. Oh, nice a quora that always helps uh, Quora is probably the top card in this set. Uh, one BCX of that. Got two BCX of Edith Emberstar, which I use fairly often. And a BCX of Trap Fallaway. Um, also three of Captain Katie. Always helps. Okay, let's jump over to the cards we actually just drew. And go to Gladiator cards. And we can see that uh, we have... doesn't. Let's see if I'm getting close to leveling any of these. Oh, I might be close in Catrella. Yes. Okay, so uh, I will be able to level to level six. And going from five to six, she picks up a life. Catrella is a very strong card in this set as well. So let's just go ahead. Katie's not close. Probably level Hugo. Yeah. Uh, nope. But um, I don't use him that often as well. Okay, so it looks like uh, Katrubble will be the only one that I level. Use the Combine All. Once again, if you're using Combine All, make sure you have your cards filtered down to exactly what you want to combine. Okay, so, hey everyone, Bronze Dragon breaking in here mid-video to let you know as uh, teased at the top of the, the video. Um, I do have some giveaways to do. Thanks to Blaze on the Splinterlands team who dropped by my most recent live stream, which occurs Saturdays at 11.30 Eastern Time, if you wanted to drop by and uh, talk Splinterlands here on YouTube. Uh, I have five packs to give away. I will be doing five drawings, so each person can get a pack uh, on my next uh, live stream, which will be the 23rd of November. To get your name in the hat, Please, uh, first of all, like and subscribe here on YouTube. If you use X slash Twitter, uh, please uh, subscribe to me on Twitter. I have a uh, link uh, in the show notes. And then in the comments of this video, please put your... Um, your hive name, where I would send the, the packs if you win. And also, let me know what's your favorite card out of the current uh, Rebellion Rewards cards uh, set. Okay, back to the video. So... Yep, we got level six here. Okay, so taking a look at this, uh, these cards, like I had mentioned, are very strong cards. I've been collecting these for as long as I've been playing, really, and it's they just level so slowly. Um, okay, so let's jump back to uh, where we were and go back to the shop. Uh, I've been concentrating on epic draws. Let's how much? How much is a full batch? One hundred eighty-seven thousand. Let's go for it. And yes, use potions, which will improve the odds of getting gold foil. Not by much, but okay, let's go ahead and re reveal all. Uh, I feel that uh, this section of cards, the epics, uh, in my opinion, bring the most strength. Okay, um, out of the set. So, no gold foils. Had to take a second look because they're relatively hard to pick out in this with these borders. Um, okay, so I'm down to 145,000. Uh, I have not been using gold foils, uh, the picks. Uh, they have introduced those relatively um, a couple weeks ago. Let's go ahead and uh, I like to get at least one legendary. Legendaries are quite expensive, but they're legendary, right? See what I get here. Okay, Frigid Wolf. Okay, let's take a jump over, and I got 110,000 left to spend. So, what? Uh, how many is 25? How about 50? How about a half a batch? Okay, half a batch of rares. Used potions. Let's see what we get here. Still just steadily trying to, uh, oh, gold foil, uh, work my way up uh, the levels in all my cards. The rares uh, seem to be bear a lot of strength. Uh, two gold foils. Okay, two gold foils out of the set. 
Not bad at all. And I've got 73,000, so let's slap some commons in there. How much is half a batch? Let's just go ahead and slap half a batch. Nope, not using potions on commons. Okay. Just basically looking for gold foil pops here. It's going to take a while to go through uh, with several, a couple hundred. No gold foils yet. I think the Ewer Jack Elder is my favorite out of uh, the commons so far. Let me know what your favorite uh, card out of this set is. There's a gold foil. Finally, one gold foil. In the low mana matches, I've liked throwing that in the um, the rear spot with the camouflage. Yeah, this is the thing. Whenever you do like a couple hundred uh, of these, it takes a while to go through. So two gold foils so far. Then we can do the combines and see where I stand. Okay, let's close that. So two gold foils of that. I think we're done right now. So let's go ahead and go over to items and let's uh, clear the filter and then go to rebellion rewards. And then go to commons. So I'm sitting at level seven. Uh, there's one that's level six, but the rest are seven. So let's go ahead and do a combine on these. Uh, another thing I will note uh, once this combines is that they changed. They went ahead and went with the popular sentiment. People were uh, reporting um, that they liked this bar to indicate your percentage complete towards the next level, uh, which... Um, had been the thing in past uh, sets, but with Rebellion, they had changed that, um, but they've went back to that. Now uh, you can see the actual level on the right, and then you can actually see the percentage uh, complete towards, like this is level seven, and it looks like I'm about 75% complete towards level eight. Did I level up anything? No, but this one actually leveled to level seven. Now let's go to rares um, and do a combine. Uh, these are sitting all three, mostly fours, a couple fives. I think my most played out of the rares is going to have to be Commander Slade. I've loved, uh, Commander Slade has been, a, a, just like he looks, a good good tank, right? Um, so now we're sitting at, uh, a few have moved up to level five, Okay. Let's look at epics, which is what I'm mostly concerned with. Um, been enjoying Olivia the Brook, Thanalorian Blade, um, slipping in Arachne Weaver there a few times, Halfling Refugee. All these are pretty good, strong cards. Shock Trooper in uh, certain uh, situations. Haven't really played Kazi Conjurer much. Um, I like Night Reaper in, uh, of course, Earthquake matches. Let's go ahead. Looks like we're level three. Level three mostly with a couple at level four. Let's go ahead and combine. Working my way up. Uh, yeah, once uh, once I'm finished with epics, then we'll move on and look at... Uh, I will probably actually uh, max out rares after epics, um, but let's go ahead and take a look at legendaries. I've been buying one each week. Um, Frigid Wolf is what I got today. Um, only have one BCX of that. Last week I got Blackmore Jinx. Uh, haven't been playing these a lot. I've toyed around with Gallicus. Um, I like Griffsy. Um, these are a few one-offs. Obviously, legendaries are meant to be really strong, but only usable in specific situations, right? Um, okay, so and one last thing I felt was worth noting before I head on out. Um, there was an announcement by Investigator uh, today that uh, some of the... Um, Popular anti-malware and antivirus programs have started uh, blocking Web3 crypto type websites. So if you have an issue uh, with uh, your game loading or um, blocking related sites, go ahead and add uh, these three um, website uh, URLs to your allowed list or your whitelist, as it were, uh, www.splinterlands.com 
api.splinterlands.com and next.splinterlands.com. Um, and try that out. And as like I said uh, earlier, if you're having problems with the new uh, version of the client, and especially on mobile, and it's taking up too much memory, go ahead and fill out that, uh, that page that I had linked. Uh, you can find under the help section at Splinterlands, and it'll help the team out, and hopefully they can track down what the issue is. Okay, so this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about all these new updates to the game, um, and I'll see you in Splinterlands.